you know Saint Marcelin? Yeah, yeah. I, it, no, I said yes. I don't no, know. No, I said yes. I'm panicked. I'm panicked. I wanted to impress Fred. <laughs> we are joined by the brilliance. Mr. Fred Syriex. Good morning, yeah. Fred. Good, Good morning. morning. Fred. What an intro. What a music. <laughs> Do you like this? Yeah, I like it, actually. I, I thought it was perfect for you. I, no, thought... no, I love it. <laughs> yeah. We've all poured out a glass of Chardonnay. It's from Marks & Spencer's. It's one of Fred's recommended Marks & Spencer's wines. We've poured it out in front of us here. We've all got a glass, Fred included. <laughs> yeah. So, Fred, cheers, everyone. Uh, yeah, cheers all, by the way. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. Breakfast. <laughs> Fred, I just wanted you to talk us through. So, imagine the scene. So, this wine has just been delivered to our table, and this is now that sometimes awkward moment where we have to inspect the wine in front of the waiter. So, can you talk us through it so that we don't look like idiots next time it happens, please? <laughs> Well, when when the wine is poured in my glass in a restaurant, I'm very quick. I just look at the wine, what it looks like, whether it, it looks it looks it looks good, whether there's no apparent defect. This one is fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's difficult to tell the color because of the studio, but it's sure. it's, a, it's, a, it's a pale gold color. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I do is nose it. Mm -hmm. okay. And this one straight away, I nose it. I know it's fine. Okay. So I would say, yeah, fine. You can pour straight away. Oh, I straight would, away. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't even taste it. Taste it. I know okay. it's right. Oh, great. Um, but you see, the beauty about wine is about it's multidimensional. It's multi-layered. So um, you got to look at the wine. Like I said to you, it's all about the senses. Smell it and taste it. Fifty percent of the pleasure of drinking wine is through nosing the wine. Every time I take a sip, before I take a sip, I nose it. Mm. Really, every sip, every single yeah. time. Wow. And this is where the pleasure is. And look, if you smell it now, just yeah. tell me. Mm. Yeah. There's something. I mean, it smells lovely. It does what, smell okay. great. What oh. do you smell? So you smell lovely. So that, that's it. It smells lovely. Perfect. That would do. <laughs> so that's the first first impression, right? Yeah. Now, what do you smell? Um, I've got lemons. A little bit of lemon in it. Okay. Correct. Yeah, I think so. Is but it a I, bit I floral? Floral, but you know, it's very subjective. Mm. Yeah. So what you smell is maybe not what I smell. Ah. I think there's quite a, uh, an intense smell of ripe banana in there. Ah. Ooh. Tropical Ooh. fruits. Now you pineapple. say that, yes. <laughs> maybe we can now. Yes, I can get banana now. <laughs> banana, pineapple. I mean, which wouldn't be too surprising because this wine is from Chile. We're tasting the wine and we've been talking and we haven't we haven't yet tasted it. Yeah, oh, I did true. actually wonder when that was going to happen though. I was <laughs> I was quite keen for that. Yeah. Bit. So we've got lemons, we've got bananas. What else did you say? Pineapple, quite fruity. Pineapple, but say? this is this is this is what it's like to be drinking wine, you know. And this is and this is why you know you've got to really nose the wine and enjoy it because it triggers uh, 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 these memories of your of your of, of the smell, you know, things that is that is inside your mind that you don't even know or that you don't even remember that is there. And suddenly you taste. The wine and boom, and maybe it just triggers a memory. Something happened to you maybe 10, 20 years ago, mm. or it's just about create a memory. So today, now we will always remember that wine. Yes. Yes. This is where we met. That's yes. true. Yes. I, I get that with Sambuca. I smell Sambuca and it brings back some bad memories. Yeah. Okay. Regret, regret. <laughs> <I cannot laughs> <imagine>. <laughs> it smells like yeah. regret. The other thing also I do, I always swirl the glass before I nose it to okay. release uh, 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 the aromas like that. Mm -hmm. And um, because it oxygenates the wine, and okay. the oxygen just 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 releases all these flavors. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's just uh, taste each other. I think we should. I think we should, guys. I think we should. The hatch. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. Lovely and dry, balance. Mm. You know the balance is the balance is very important. Mm. So there's something that's just like dry your mouth because it's. Mm. So acidic and it's so full of tannin. That's lovely. Right? Another sip. I'm glad justice. you like it because it's one of your Marks and Spencer's recommended. <laughs> Imagine wines. if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I can't believe I put my name to this. It'd be very dangerous to hang out with you because I'd feel like wine was appropriate to drink yeah. at all times. Breakfast wine. You know, and that's why it's so lovely to go into a market. You know, for example, you yeah. know, and then you go, you have a little glass of wine, you have some oysters, and then the thing I love to have after oysters, you know, with a lovely glass of wine, is some Saint Marcelin. You know, Saint Marcelin. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I said yes. I don't no, know. No. I said yes. I'm <laughs> panicked. I'm, I wanted to impress Fred. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.